welcome to the show. It's 1945. Star Wars existed. to talk to all of you guys about the idea of something being nerd expensive. Uh, if you aren't familiar with this term that I just made up, it's when you have overwhelming fandom that makes you purchase things about movies and comics and sci-fi and TV shows. <sighs> my little ponies. Effing my little ponies. And I don't judge that. Instead, let me help you today with the five ways you can save money on your nerdgasm. <laughs> Roll the first tape, Jimmy! If you're a comics reader, I highly recommend getting a subscription, whether it's print or digital. Almost every single company has a print subscription. You get your book every single week, you know you're gonna get it, and it's usually 20 to 50% off depending on what book you get. And if you go to Marvel, you can actually get a digital subscription. Thousands and thousands of comics for an insanely low price. I can't remember what it is right now, but it's crazy cheap. Roll the second take, Jimmy! Yes, I recommend Amazon, and yes, eBay, yes, even Craigslist, but I actually recommend more than anything to just scope out antique stores. Yes, when you go on eBay, you know you can find exactly what you want, and that's awesome and convenient, but you can find all kinds of untold treasures if you just go to your local antique store, and plus you get to support a local business, which makes it extra more awesome. Roll the third take, Jimmy! I also recommend joining a nerd organization. If you live in New York City, you can join something like Nerd York City. There are lots of other ones that have tons of meetups that screen films, that do special gaming events, and it's a fun way to interact with your community, and most of it is totally free if you just reserve in advance. So do that. NerdYorkCity.com. Roll the fourth tape, Jimmy! If you're a gamer, I highly recommend signing up for beta testing. You can go to different studios and check out what they have, and you can play all kinds of games online for free before they hit the general market. Not only do you get the down low way before anybody else, you get to play for free. Can't beat that. And what's that fifth thing, Jimmy? And finally, I recommend if you have a good group of nerd friends who have good taste and are also very trustworthy, to start a share group. Because, you know, there are lots of things that we buy that we love and we just want to share it with somebody else. And also there are lots of things that people buy that you would never buy and you would never think that you like and then you try them out and then you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. So I highly recommend setting up that share group and then passing an item along through the group. The only deal is you can't be like me and try to keep things forever. I'm sorry, Jimmy Aquino, I promise I'm going to return those books soon. Okay. So guys, where do you guys like to go to get cheap stuff on sale online? Or if you guys have other tips of places that you can get cool, sweet swag for cheap, please tell us all down below. I'm going to put together a list of all the places that you guys uh, send to me, and I'm going to post it on my Tumblr, LorraineSync.tumblr.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, at LorraineSync. And also, if you ever want to see me perform live, you can check me out at the People's Improv Theater in New York City. I am there every Friday at 8 p.m. with the house team Borealis, as well as 9.30 doing musical improv with the team Hello. And you see me at the Magnet Theater also Tuesdays uh, with the team Legend. And if you want to meet me at a Comic-Con, I'm going to be at Lone Star Comic-Con in March in Texas. So you should definitely come and check that out. And we'll be friends. Just like that. Cool? Cool. Okay, bye. What if Darth Vader had boobs? <laughs>